look up formulas fetch values from cell ranges or tables. The cell range or the table can be located in the same sheet, another sheet or even in another workbook. This table represents top 20 countries by alcohol consumption in 2010. In this another sheet we will create the formulas that look up the values from the data. The formattings have been created by using different background colors, borders and fonts, so nothing special here. Remember this sheet decoupling principle in future. Keeping raw data and dashboards in separate sheets is the best practice in Excel. Now our job is to create formulas to this dashboard to make it show the numbers. Here we want to fetch the consumption of the country that is specified in this cell. Let's type here Finland. VLOOKUP formula is the right choice for this case. It finds the specified value from specified cell range. You will understand it better once we start typing the formula. The first parameter is the value to look for. I will reference it to the name of the country. The second parameter is the cell range of the data. I will go to the datasheet to select the whole table. It is very important to remember that the list of values to search for should be in the leftmost column. The third parameter defines the column index where we want to fetch the value from. In this example, the consumption can be found from the second column, so the value for the third parameter is 2. In this case, the VLOOKUP formula finds Finland at row 17, then goes to the second column and returns value 12.30. The last parameter is applicable only if you are looking for a closest match from a sorted list of numbers. As we are looking for an exact match, we will set the range lookup to false. Press enter to see the results. Ok, let's move forward. Next, we want to get average wine consumption in countries having beer consumption more than 50%. This time we use average if formula to do the magic. It does a conditional average calculation for those rows that meet the criterion. If you would have multiple criteria, you should use average if s function. But now we are good with a single criterion. Average if function has three parameters. First, you define the criterion range, which can be either row or column. The second parameter is the actual criterion. As we are looking for countries having beer consumption over 50%, we type here 0 0.5. The third parameter could actually be the same as the condition range, in which case we could omit it totally. But now it was the wine consumption where we wanted to calculate the average from, so let's select that column. The formula is ready and you can press enter to see the results. That's it about lookup formulas. If you are interested in other lookup functions, you should take a look at formulas tab from the ribbon. And there, see the lookup and reference drop down.